Jeremiah, I don't know anything about the gods of the jungle hordes, Africanus, but the God of Israel don't take too kindly to those who take his people for jokes. Saying that, I will use the very excuse you mustered up yesterday, pictures and all, to prove I think that it's you that's the liar, thus making you stink before Israel. Everybody has heard the victor gets to tell the story, right? But you are telling me the opposite thing happened for the first time in recorded human history. Let me explain. Though you admit the change happened in the same century, a century is a hundred years, you know, you telling us that even though human history records the white church running roughshod with impunity over the darker Arabs, killing, raping, converting, they, white skinned Turks, forsook their own heritage, culture, language, religion, holy man, and their God. But wait, under the penalty of death, they adopted all of the above things mentioned of their conquered enemies. Even to the point, they named the next eight sultans in the name of the conquered. If you can't catch McDrift, let me put it in a manner in which I think you may understand. The wool you are trying to pull over the sheep's eyes says, the American white man said, don't call me Lawrence anymore. You better call me Leroy. The white woman said, don't call me Layla. Call me Laquita. Don't call him Danny. Call him Don Quarius. Don't call her Kelly. Call her Keisha. The South African white man should have said, don't call me Zachary. Call me Shaka Zulu. And instead of calling upon the name of white Jesus, they will be saying Yahushua. So in essence, what I'm really trying to say is, you and the rest of your pygmy pals are either liars or just uninformed. Either way, you stink. Question for all of you sympathizers under the banner of Afrocentric. Have you ever saw an African with an Afro? Think about it. While the Africans were selling your people, the devil was buying your people. Connect the dots. <laughs>